Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to be working on adjusting the render settings fog. So if I downsize my node developer for now, it's this function here in the lighting tab that we are going to be altering. Now, if you want a dense foggy scene within your project, I would suggest creating another web state here, here, and then create another function and use particles in the same way in which we've done for the other web states. This part of the tutorial is just going to be for the render settings one. So with that said, let's come back to our script. And we need to create some public variables. So these can be public of type color. And we'll say underscore sun fog. We'll close the line off. And as always, straight into the comments. So we'll say creates slot in inspector to set sun fog color. If I just downsize it again, so what will happen is once this script is applied to a game object, we'll have a box similar to what we have here with the light where we can click on it and set the color. So let's copy this line four times. And I'm sure you've guessed exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to alter the naming conventions. So the next one will be for Thunder. The next one will be for Mist. Overcast. And finally for Snow. We'll bring the comments back into line and we'll just change the comments. And here, we'll say thunder, mist, overcast, and again, finally, for snow. Now we have those in place, we need a speed in which we want it to change so we'll say public and this time of type float we'll put underscore fog change speed and we'll make this equal to 0.1 f and we'll close the line off and again into the comments so we'll say this time defines speed in which the fog will change. Okay, and as always, you'll probably need to adjust this numeric value to fit your project, but I'm going to leave it as this for the purposes of this tutorial, and we'll just save that off there. So we can define our colors now, and we have a speed in which the fog will change, we'll downsize, and as you can see, the fog is deactivated. Now, we're going to activate it via code. So, let's come back to our script, and we'll come in the void start, and uh, the first thing we want is render settings dot fog, and we're going to make this equal to true. We'll close the line off, and it's exactly what it, what it says it is. It's to enable the fog in render settings. The next thing we want to do is set the type of fog. So again, we'll say render settings dot, and we want fog mode with the small f at the front here. And then we're going to say equal to, and we want fog mode again, but this time with the capital F here. 
and we'll say dot exponential squared we'll close the line off and we'll say set fog mode to exponential squared. Now there are a number of different fog modes. I really suggest you read up on the Unity website about the different types but this one will work fine with our project and work fine with the code we'll input at a later date. So we'll leave it as that for now and finally we want render settings and this time we want dot and we want the fog density and we're going to say equal to 0.01f we'll close the line off and into the comments and we'll just say set fog density now we'll save it off here now as regards fog density this will probably work fine for the majority of you the 0.01f but of course I suggest you experiment with different values to find the one that fits your project best I'm actually going to put it as 0.1f and I'm going to save it off there now this level of fog density I find a little bit too much but um, I'm doing it so when we come to test out this script it's easier for you to see so for the rest of you I suggest leaving it at 0.01 so with that said we've got in place our fog colors our fog change speed we're activating the fog we're setting the type of fog we want and we're setting its density and in the next lesson we'll work out how to switch between the different fog colors so we'll leave it here for now i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then bye for now